A husband, wife and teenage son found dead in their home. Investigators are now confident calling this cold case closed 50 years later. Crime scene pictures gave us a closer look at what happened to the Durham family way back in 1972. Bryce, Virginia and their son Bobby all found tied up and dumped in a bathtub. Four suspects are now connected to their murders. Channel 9's Dave Fairty found out that the suspects had ties to a group called the Dixie Mafia and that this was a hired hit. Billy Wayne Davis has been in prison for 35 years, serving a life sentence for a murder in Georgia. Today, we learned Watauga deputies visited him three times in the past three years and are able to link him and three others to the 1972 murder of the Durham family in Boone. That's when a family member found Bryce and Virginia Durham strangled to death in their bathroom, along with their 18 year old son, Bobby. Pat Maddox's husband was an SBI agent who spent years following leads in the case. Oh, it's a big, a big relief to all of us here. Something like that has never happened here before. Sheriff deputy shared these crime scene photos today, showing the house ransacked. Bryce Durham owned a car dealership in Boone. His vehicle was stolen the night of the murders and the family's silverware was later found inside the SUV. His daughter released a statement today saying in part, I would like to thank all the people who worked for decades on my family's case. I know they sacrificed many days and weekends in order to work on solving this case since 1972. Sheriff deputies say Davis was part of a group known as the Dixie Mafia. They tracked him down after getting a tip from the son of another suspect who remembered his dad talking about killing three people in the North Carolina mountains. Those other three suspects are all dead now. Pat Maddox's husband has also died, but she believes he would be glad to know this case has been solved. The biggest case I guess we have had in, in Boone. It's a big, a big relief to all of us here. Now that was our Dave Faraday reporting. Investigators say that Davis told them that the murder was part of a hit. He said that he only acted as the getaway driver. He is not going to face charges connected to this investigation. So the question remains now is who hired those four men and why? And is that person still alive? We also looked more into the Dixie Mafia. We found a 1974 article by the New York Times that said that the group was Georgia based and connected to dozens of violent crimes across the southeast in the 1960s and 70s. And it said that they were not a traditional mafia, which is typically defined as family members. Instead, a special agent called the Dixie Mafia, an unorganized group of traveling criminals, including burglars, car thieves and drug dealers.